pile of broken grabbers. So all of these broke basically where the cable snapped off in the trigger mechanism. Um, see the cable there. So you know I still got the, I still have the base or the the handles and most of the grabbers are up on this shelf up here. But you can see the, the wire snaps there, so I think this mechanism still works if I pull it. But what I think I need to do is get a thicker cable and I'll have to drill these out and replace these pop rivets here and attach it, I guess attach it at the back, crimp it. That one actually broke off, you can see the handle there. Um, a lot of these are missing triggers too, so maybe I don't have as many working units as I thought. But up here, I've got all these broken you know, handles saved over the, over the time. So I don't know, maybe in the future I'll figure out a way to repair some of these with a little bit thicker cable because it always seems to snap at the back. But I don't know. Let me know if you guys were able to fix any of your broken grabbers. See, the Vive, you know, they're pretty good for picking up. They're quick. I can, they're pretty accurate in terms of grabbing like bottle caps and tiny stuff, but they're not that durable. They just snap, and that's kind of, kind of a bummer when they're 18, 19 bucks a piece. All right, y'all, we're gonna go take all this metal, cash it all in. We got a bunch of these road signs. Um, two sacks of cans, one, two, and a bunch of mis metal, miscellaneous metal that I found. Um, so we'll go cash all this stuff in, see what it's all worth. And I don't know, maybe get 10 or 12 bucks out of it. We'll see. All right, y'all, another successful cash in. Uh, we got 16 pounds of aluminum cans, some aluminum, 168 pounds of steel, total of 16, 16.72 cash money. So that's how we that's how we turn roadside scrap metal into cash. You don't get a ton, but hey, it doesn't get thrown out, right?